my mom and dad split up. It was a pretty big deal, but I wasn't trying to talk about it. A lot of my friends' parents were divorcing, and they seemed to be okay with it. But to me, my world was being ripped apart. I just don't love you anymore. Why can't we give it one more try? I started to pack things away. Maybe I thought I would run away. Maybe I just wanted to protect the things I love the most and keep them near me at all times. I packed away a little bear, my favorite books, my diary, and a few other things that really meant a lot to me. Why are you being so unreasonable? Joint custody was not my idea. I also had to put in clothes for going in between my mom's house and my dad's. My bag was packed and I carried it around with me. I carried it to friends' house, to school, to church, everywhere I went basically. For a couple of years, no one saw it or so I thought. Then one Sunday at church, my teacher noticed it and she asked me about it. She said, Annie, you look like you're carrying a heavy load there. And I told her it wasn't heavy because it had all the things I loved. And I opened it up a little to show her what was inside. I tried to tell her about Little Bear and how he got scared sometimes. But instead of helping me, she just crammed this big Bible inside my bag. She told me, that if I would accept Jesus, then everything would get better. But I never saw Jesus. I just got the Bible. And it made my bag heavier. I tried to concentrate on my schoolwork, but I couldn't. My bags were just so heavy. I had teachers that put a lot of pressure on me. You have such potential, Annie. They told me that if I would work harder, study more, then I can make good grades and get into a good college, which, I mean, I really wanted to do. So I know they couldn't see all that I was carrying, so they loaded me up with all these books that I would need to learn what I need to know. I started obsessing about how heavy I felt. Every day, I felt bigger than all the girls around me. I felt like I didn't have enough friends because of all these bags I was carrying. I wondered if I ate less and worked out more, if I could shed some of this weight. So, I started running on the treadmill and eating just carrots. But with all these bags, it was hard to work out. So, I, didn't, I don't think I lost much weight. But, I carried around my weights just to remind me to stay in shape. I got a part-time job my senior year to help me get a phone. Hello? Yeah, whatever. My dad said he would give me a car for graduation. My mom said, He just feels guilty because of the divorce, honey. I thought he felt sorry for me having to carry all these bags around. My life was so heavy, I felt like I was drowning. My parents were constantly pulling at me. Want to go to the lake this weekend with me and Jim? Not really. I have plans with Dad. It's okay, Annie. I graduated high school, and just like I planned, I made it to college. Things were going pretty good. There was this one guy in my statistics class. We talk sometimes. Hi, Annie. Then one day, he put a gun to his head. A bunch of us went to the service, and all I could think about was how he probably had a lot of bags just like I did. He just wanted to blow them all away. I graduated college a few years later with honors, whoop de doo and quickly fell into the boring nine to five routine. A friend of mine introduced me to a guy. I remember the first day we met, he said, You are so beautiful. I was in my mid-twenties, and I had never been told that I was beautiful before. He made me feel like the most beautiful and special girl in the entire world. I never knew that these feelings existed outside of the movies. I remember our first kiss. My first kiss ever. The next four months were amazing. Then one day, I got a phone call. Annie, it's over. I just can't do this anymore. I don't know what to do. You're wonderful, but we're just not meant to be. What I came to find out is we weren't meant to be because he wanted to be with someone else. 
Literally overnight, my world was turned upside down. I mean, we had been ring shopping and planning our wedding, but, and, he, and I was expe expecting a proposal any day, but instead he trashed my dreams and my heart. Then somebody told me about Jesus. I said, oh no you don't, I'm still lugging around this Bible and all it is is heavy. They said that Jesus said, they said that I didn't understand. Faith isn't about carrying the Bible. It is about being carried by the God of the Bible. Clever. They said that Jesus said, come unto him, anyone who is tired of all their backs. Right. Who isn't? They said, he said, come unto me and I will give you rest. How? How can he give me rest? I'm so tired. I have all these bags and I have nowhere to put them. I have school. I have responsibilities. I have pain. I have trash. I'm so tired. And they said, look. look. At what? His arms. So? They're open. They were nailed open. Put your bags on them. I can't. Lay them at his feet. I can't. They won't come off. They won't just, come off. Just try. They're so heavy. Put them on him. I can't. We, we will help you. you. 